another day, another update. Sounds like I uh, up do an update every day, which is not true, but... I was kind of, uh, well, I was still uh, playing with these tweeters because I have so many things that I wanted to try. Because, of course, I want to lower the distortion if possible. Um, so today I made a 3mm magnet variant. So, 3mm um, thick and 3mm uh, wide and then 50mm long. Um, in the design it uses a 3 and the sides are left without magnet. Although there is coil as you can see, this coil here, there are no magnets. So first of all I tried 3mm magnet instead of the, the 2mm I use uh, because I have a lot of them. Uh, and this is what I get. Uh, it's the green disc curve. And that's actually the same as uh, we had before uh, with this weird dip here and this peak here. But this peak is more pronounced because the magnets are uh, thicker so uh, the cavity resonance will be lower. In the 2mm magnets the, this, this peak is a little bit higher which is less less annoying. But it, it is there in this region so uh, not much changed. This here, this peak and then the wiggle, this is the breakup of this uh, piece of undriven area. The piece of undriven area here. Um, if I put some tape on this part here, where this trace is running that I'm not gonna use in the next design, uh, that dip will disappear. Then I tried another thing. That's putting tape here. So in between the coil on top of the magnet. Uh, it's not something that you want. Uh, well, because it adds weight and you lose output and, and it's not cool. But what I thought, and I mentioned it somewhere on uh, Facebook I think, uh, there was this huge, uh, this, this insane huge distortion peak at around 7, uh, and this, in this case it's around 8k. But I think it depends also a little bit uh, of uh, on on tension on the foil or something. Not sure yet. Uh, but um, I added some tape, and then this this peak becomes uh, far less prominent. This distortion peak. Uh, it does fuck up the rest of the response. So it's not a it's not a solution. It's just that uh, I hope at least that it gives me some insight in where the problem probably. Uh, is and I think it is here, but uh, it uses three magnets. And I thought, well, as I mentioned in the previous video, I might add the two magnets on the side, so you get actually the Neo three. Uh, well, you don't get the <laughs> the Neo three, but it's the same as the Neo three. It uses five magnets, which is, if you look at the coil, it would be uh, well the most normal thing to do, so you can drive this part as well. Uh, dispersion becomes shittier, so that's the reason why they didn't do it in the PDR. But I just did it to see what the gain was, and I only put it on the back side, so in single end up mode. And then you get, uh, let me see, Then you got this. The red one is with the extra two magnets. So you can see the the SPL is going up. Uh, be it only, I think 1.2 dB or something. Well, only. It's quite a lot actually, but uh, mostly in the upper range, and that's quite. Well, the reason for that is is that this this coil here. It's sitting almost on the edge. So. It doesn't have a lot of uh, movement there, 
because it's quite restricted because uh, because the spacer is nearby it cannot move a lot so it will give you more output but it will give you only more output in the upper end this is exactly the reason why they didn't drive this area so you get less output in the upper upper range and this middle part does all the all the uh, high frequencies uh, so you get better dispersion because the the surface area is smaller or at least the width is smaller so you get better horizontal dispersion vertical remains bad <clears throat> depending how you look at it but it is a planar and it's not it's not square and it's not round so there is difference in horizontal and vertical dispersion the wider it is the shittier it is but some people like it because it's like really direct sound and it has some benefits as well but um, <clears throat> so um, oh well, yeah well if you look at the distortion so this is with the three magnets used uh, no tape supplied and such so this dip is here and, and, and then well some more problems but that's not the the point at this moment this is how it looks now when the when I add these two magnets on the sides it becomes this it's not perfect for sure but it's way better less pronounced peaks so first of all I thought well maybe it's because it's uh, the coil the, the coils on the outside are uniformly driven now as well or more uniform that's one option and maybe it contributes but what I thought as well is it might be the place where this magnet is sitting if it's if it's not there these magnets you get a cavity and um, so sound bounces sort of around and then exits and it will amplify at certain points and create all kinds of funny shit as you can see here it's kind of weird peakiness there's, it looks like a pattern almost. Here is more, uh, it's more chaotic. Still not completely gone, and I'm not sure if it ever will be, but uh, I only added these magnets on the back side, so there is still a cavity in the front part of the structure, because I didn't do anything to it. But it's funny to see that it changes, but then the question was, is it is it the magnetic field that does it, or is it purely the the magnet or at least the magnet it well how do you, how do you say it uh, the space the magnet uh, takes in when it's there and not so much the magnetic field itself so what I did I machined real quick because I couldn't find any uh, square bar in three millimeter I don't have it so this is what I did you got the three magnets and I got like two blanks they are the same thickness and same width but of course they they don't do anything because it's plastic but they take up space here and the idea was that it doesn't have a chance to create a cavity resonance here between the the pole pieces sort of resonator actually almost so if we look at the SPL we got three, oh, three magnets green, five magnets red and then we got light green which is an annoying color because it's almost the same and also my camera is not in the appropriate like this I'll give it another color let's say blue so I'll do it again three magnets front and back three magnets in the front and five in the back you can see you win some uh, efficiency quite a lot actually for only two magnets it's not even push-pull so probably you will gain 3 dB if you would add on both sides at the cost of less good dispersion 
Then I remove the magnets and put blanks in there. That's this curve. And as you would imagine, it, it looks kind of, uh, in loudness terms, the same as the three magnets, because there are still only three magnets. But um, I did fill the cavity with two blank magnets that are not magnets. So what happens to the distortion then? This is your three magnets distortion. This is the distortion with five magnets. And this is the distortion with three magnets and two blanks. So actually, these look more alike. Weirdly enough, the <laughs> the distortion is slightly lower even than the five magnets but I guess that has to do with output or something or it looks at least doesn't mean it is exactly so uh, but if you look at the first picture it's so the three magnets and no blanks this stuff here and three magnets and blanks you can see quite a difference except for this peak that's still there but I'll get rid of it, I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. Another thing, well, I cannot say fixed, but at least I've learned something uh, to take into account if you design this kind of stuff. The list gets longer and longer, by the way. Um, yeah, so cool. Small, smallish update. I wonder what I um, achieve if I put the blanks in the back, so I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs>